Greetings gentlemen and ladies, I am the old school game snob and in today's video we're going to be taking a look at uh, what are called, what are called blue, blue, blueprint, blueprint uh, function uh, libraries, blueprint function uh, libraries, bit of a tongue twister there, but there you have it, blueprint function library, that's where you find it, and these are cool, these are very cool, because what they allow you to do is reuse certain functions in that it seems like basically any any blueprint um, you don't need to even set up the blueprint uh, interface like with blueprint interfaces as a blueprint interface or a component uh, uh, like a blueprint component or whatever the case may be when you set when you create a blueprint uh, function a library it just becomes available as a function for any blueprint which is absolutely very cool now here's how to uh, how to do it and how you might use it for example for example let's um, create a new blueprint function now I've got my blueprint function library uh, class right here you just go ahead of course get create blueprints and blueprint function library and then from there you can open up your blueprint function library and uh, you will have a new function that's automatically created I can't remember what it's called, unnamed or untitled or something like that. Go ahead and give it a nice name. That makes you happy. If it doesn't, you don't have to. It's up to you. Uh, let's uh, create a new new simple blueprint function. So I'm just going to call mine BFL, uh, short for blueprint function, and I'm going to call it example. That's what I'm going to do. And all this is going to do is actually just do a little printy print, a little printy, printy string. It's going to say, hello, 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 you tube specifically you but you know all youtube in general there we go so i'm going to compile and save that blueprint function library as an example i'm going to pop on over into my character blueprint where i might want to access this from or wherever you know i'm just going to do my character blueprint because that's what i'm going to do uh, bum, 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 event graph Is that, am i oh here we go there we go i needed to zoom out a bit all right Go away, I'm badi but I but I'm just gonna put in a new hotkey here and this hotkey will be oh over awesome. <laughs> and this is going to call uh, the blueprint function library that I just created called blueprint function library example, BFL example. Uh, and now when I press Q, what do you think's gonna happen? I think you know. I think you know, it's not too complicated. Uh, it's gonna say hello YouTube. That's what it's gonna do. So that's pretty cool. Uh, additionally, you can do some other really neato things, like, for example, uh, grab some input nodes or some output nodes, as the case may be. And you can go ahead and say, for example, you want to collect some variables from, you know, your hero blueprint, your, you know, third-person character blueprint. You want to pass those along into your blueprint function. Uh, go ahead and add some inputs. Right into your blueprint function uh, uh, node event, whatever it's called, I don't even know. I'm just gonna call this one example one, and that will be a uh, let's just make it a float, and a number. Uh, also, do another one here. Let's do um, you know, what? let's do an object reference because that's kind of kind of useful for all sorts of different things. Where is it? Object at a pawn, a pawn, object reference. There we go, example one. So we'll just actually call that one. We'll call this one floaty float, and we'll call this one here, we'll call that one object objecty. Yeah, that's what we'll do. All right, so now we're going to actually do a little thing here. Instead of printing hello YouTube, we're going to print uh, we're going to print the value of floaty. We're also going to go ahead and grab the value of objecty because, you know, you could do things like pass along your pawn information into your you know your your pawn object reference or whatever the case may be so now i've got a couple of additional actually i guess i, guess I better compile that so i've got uh, a couple of additional uh things here we've got floaty and i've got object d so if i wanted to now pass you know a variable into a floaty say it's a float maybe it's health max maximum amount of health that my character uh, can have, or health current, as the case may be, uh, that's available in uh, in that variable. I can also pass through, uh, say, a reference to self. Right? So get self. I'll say, oops, get get self. That's not the same thing. Get self. Reference to self. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and compile that. 
pop into the game, press O for awesome. And as you can see, it says hello 100. And that is because it shouldn't say 100 and that I did pl plug in something wrong. Yes, I did plug in something wrong. I forgot to plug in. Uh, what did I forget to plug in? I forgot to plug in something. That goes in there. That should go. That should, oh, that's what I did. <laughs> I, put, I put it into the wrong thing. All right, let's try that one more time. <clears throat> well, is that is that printing? Is that, is that printing? Printing? I know what I'm doing. I'm getting a self pawn reference. I'm not getting the actual pawn reference. There we go. My bad. I have a variable here which is called pawn ref self, and that's that's just a that's empty right now because it's not being used. So if I actually grab the actual self, that's that's going to help a whole lot more. It's like, huh? You know, cut, edit, try it again. All right, so now we should, now we should see some action here. So as you can see, it's uh, punching up hero C underscore six, which is a reference to my, to my pawn. So of course, if I wanted to do something like, uh, oh, possess, uh, possess, and or unpossess or repossess pawn. So I'm using this right now, <clears throat> uh, in order to uh, basically get out of ve of a vehicle. Uh, that that my pawn has possessed, right? <clears throat> but I'm gonna want to have a lot of different vehicles, and I'm gonna want to have a nice, easy way to unpossess those vehicles every time I jump into one. Uh, so that used to look, <clears throat> so it used to look something like like all of this, right? All of this. So this was in my in my vehicle library. Some things like unpossess, repossess, cast to hero, uh, move movement speed, blah blah blah. Add impulse to create sort of an eject effect when the character lots of different things right so in order to unpossess a vehicle i need to put that into every single vehicle that i want my game to have but that is made a lot more easy to repeat uh, for vehicle to vehicle to vehicle by putting that into a function function in a blueprint function library as you can see i've got here <clears throat> what have i got here i've got here uh possess or unpossess vehicle right so it's got all those same things i'm feeding in my references that i need and I've got that unpossess uh, thing. So now I can just go ahead <clears throat> and when the character uh, goes to unpossess a vehicle, the uh, call is, where is it? Uh, Sci-fi, This is, oops, so that's the wrong place to look. I am looking to, oh, where am I looking? Here we go, <laughs> I'm looking to here. Um, right there, there we go, there it is. BFL unpossess vehicle, and that's all I need. So I can plug exactly this into any other vehicle and uh, basically execute that, you know, unpossess, get out of vehicle function over and over and over again. And the nice thing about this is if I ever need to make any changes uh, because I find, oh, I want to adjust like the ejection speed or something like that, I don't have to go and then do it 10 times to 10 different uh, pawns, 10 different uh, vehicles that all have that code. Uh, I can just do it once. Just do it once from my blueprint function library. So that is blueprint function libraries in a nutshell, at least uh, as far as my understanding of them goes so far, which is limited because I just learned about these yesterday, but I already like them. See you guys later.